Hi, I'm Charlene Marr, and I'm a volunteer instructor with the Senior Net program at Willow Glen Community and Senior Center in San Jose. I generally teach the email class, and today's lesson is going to be on how to attach a photograph to an email. Uh, I think uh, that's something that everyone wants to be able to do, and I know that in the class that's one of the biggest things, that, well, biggest reasons why people come to the class. I want you. I want to first of all. Um, have you compare the process to what you would have done before computers. You would have, for instance, written a message, found a photograph, attached it, maybe with a paper clip, to your message, put it in an envelope, and put it into a mailbox. Really, with email, it's not much different because the, uh, the process is the same. You have to have a message, you're going to find a photograph, attach the photograph, and send them both together. The important thing in both processes, of course, is finding the photograph. And so you have to uh, have your file management in your mind. Where did you put the photograph, whether it was a hard copy that you put into a file folder or a photo box, or in email, it's got to be in your computer. You might have downloaded it into um, a folder on your computer from your digital camera. It might be on a CD that you've put into your CD drive or it might even be on a flash or thumb drive that you've inserted into a USB port on your computer. Before we start, I'm going to show you where the picture that we're going to use in this lesson is located. I've placed this picture. The picture is called penguin.jpg, and uh, JPG is a file extension that means that this, this is an image file of some kind. So this particular picture has been placed in a folder called email files. And this folder is in a larger folder called My Documents. So before you start, it's important that you know exactly where your picture is and that you know what your picture file is named. Now that we're ready, I'm going to open up my email program. Uh, this one that I'm using is Yahoo Mail, which is what we use in our classes here. It doesn't matter whether or not you're using Yahoo Mail because every email program has uh, pretty much the same procedure for attaching a file to an email message. So let's open up a new mail message. So uh, this is going to be uh, opening up a window where I can compose a new message. And you would do what you normally would do with an email message. You have to put down the email address of your recipient it's always nice to put a subject in there, and I'll just put penguin photo to give your recipient an idea of what's coming. I'm going to type a, a brief message here. This message can be as long or as short as you like. So, I hope you like this picture. And I'm ready. The message is done. Now we're ready to attach the photo. And on this email program, I'm looking for this particular button to click. It's called Attach. Now, on yours, it could be also an Attach button or a Send Attachment button. It could be a paperclip icon. And I will click this to start the process of attaching. This takes us to a window where it's more or less asking, where is your photo or where is your attachment? And so what you need, what I need, is to see up here at the top the place where I want to go. And if it's not there, I, I can go down here because I know that mine is in the My Documents folder. Now, if yours is not there, you would just click this arrow and find the right place, uh, location in your computer. So I'm going to click My Documents because, remember, that was the large folder it was in. And inside My Documents, there is another folder, or there are a number of folders. There's one called Email Files, and remember that's where I put mine, so I double-clicked on Email Files. And now what I have uh, listed here under Email Files, that's the one that's open, is a list of the contents of this particular folder. Now you have to keep going down until you actually locate the name of your the name of your file that you want to attach. And mine is penguin.jpg. Once I have located that, I can either double click it or I can click it once 
and open. All right, now it, it takes you back to the, uh, the message pane here, but you'll notice that there's one thing added and that's right down at the bottom here. There's a paper clip and it says one file, that means one file has been attached and it gives the name of the file. And it's penguin.jpg, so I know I've attached the correct file. If it were not correct, I could click remove and go back through the process to find the right picture. All right, what you'll notice is that the, the picture itself does not show up, just the name of the attachment. But once that's done, we're done. I mean, this is, this is the message, this is the attachment. All I have to do now is to send and off it goes. You can actually attach more than one picture. You just have to go back and do the process again. And so now the message is sent and hopefully in an hour or a day or a week, your recipient will email a, a reply back to you and say, uh, got that great picture of yours, thanks a lot. And uh, so that in effect is how you attach uh, a photo to an email and you just need to practice and it will become almost automatic to you. Thank you.